bring in my eye. I'll be an example to myself in the tears that I cry. What's going on, y'all? Shit, God see Paris, man. Today I'm in here with Will from Say How You Feel TV, man. Squad member, man. Just wanna. Hey, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Yeah, man. Y'all let me some heaven. Yeah, man, I appreciate you, man, taking the time out to do this with me, man. And you got, you got, you got some real experience in this in this t-shirt business. I bet you a lot of these people don't know, man. Why don't you kind of give me your history on on this, on how you got started in the t-shirt game? Um, well, my, okay, the easy answer is my uh, business partner Alan from California, from LA. Mm -hmm. One of the ways my dad was was called a cutter. And uh, he's one of the best cutters in LA. And what they do is they lay fabric out, and then uh -huh. they put a pattern on it, and that's how you get clothes. He cut the pattern out for clothes so that you oh, can have, yeah, 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 you can yeah. get the garments and everything. So when I was 17, he gave me he gave me a job where he was working at, and I started pressing uh, aprons and things like that for IHOP. And that was my first introduction to a heat press and. Actually, what I didn't know then was to a heat press and uh, plastic salt transfer. Oh, okay. And this is at 17. I'm now 44. We will be 44 next month, November. So I've been huh. dealing with these for a minute now. So you said you were 17 when you first started this, and you're about to be 44, huh? Wow. I'll that's... be 44 November 17th. <laughs> man, that's crazy. I'm 44 myself. That's crazy, man. Yeah. That's a long time. It, like, it's a beautiful thing. And it, it, here's the funny thing. When you're a kid, you don't know what you got until you get older. Right, 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 right. So I didn't realize the skill set that it was giving me then that I would later on apply once I got a little older. So um, did you, like, take time off of it, or was it something that you just did to be doing, or how did that work out? And how did I end up doing this now? Uh, yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or how did I end up doing a thing? You know what I'm saying? Like, since, like you said, you didn't know what you had as a kid, like, how did you continue to... Well, what I mean by that is the skill sets that you get, you know, sometimes we get skill sets as young people. Yeah. And you just let it go by the side of your thing about it. So when I joined my uh, frat, what happened is they needed some t-shirts. <coughs> Excuse me. And I knew how to do it. So I was like, well, but y'all get the press, I'll go ahead and knock it out for you. Mm -hmm. So that made me decide, okay, well, I'm just going to start by doing it again. And uh, so I started off, I got a heat press from Pro World. They had the little bundle package you can get, uh, uh, the transfer sheet. Uh -huh. If you got like 300 dollars with transfer sheet, you get a heat press for $99. Yeah. They had that kind of deal. Yeah. So, man, that's... So I ended up that's crazy, man. That's a long time, man. Yeah, it's, I, it's been a long, crazy ride, man. I enjoy it. I think that uh, the greatest part about doing it is taking something that has absolutely nothing on it and being creative and creating something that no one else could do or nothing no one else has done. Period. Period. And, and putting a stamp on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Because, like, you got a blank T-shirt. Anybody can go get a blank T-shirt. Yo. But now anybody put it has been creative on this blank t-shirt. Right, right. So have you ever did anything yeah. like a clothing line or anything? Uh, I've toyed with the idea of a clothing line. I have not done it primarily because uh, it's a lot into it. And it takes, you know, I have to figure out what kind of shirt I want to do. Like now I have the soft style shirts from Gildan. Uh-huh. And those are the closest thing you might get to a Bella Canvas, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And I like the next level, too, but uh, I think the soft style is my favorite. Uh -huh. So now I might toy with it a little more. And since I do I do some graphic design, I do a lot for other people. Uh -huh. For me, my designs, I'm really particular over, which means I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> man, I know. I don't like what I, I do for myself. <laughs> I, know, I know exactly what you mean, man. Yeah, so it's like, uh, do I want to do this? And then it's like, if I do it, does it look good? Does it not look good? So you don't want to bother? Right. And I can't find a graphic designer really that's just ready to sit down and put nothing together. Yeah, yeah, I understand that too, man. So you said you like the Gildan Soft Style. Those are like, what, a four and a yeah. half ounce or something t-shirt, right? 
You see it say again? Those are like a four and a half ounce or something. Yeah, four point five ounce. Uh yeah. I like 4.5 4. ounces and something like that. The reason why I like them is because they're softer than the regular gilding. Yeah. You get the softness of like a next level of regular canvas, but the price point of a gilding. Yeah, actually, um, the boxes you saw in the back here, that's an order I had done. Some hoodies and t-shirts and long sleeve shirts and now I'm doing some backpacks. But in that yeah. order, I just sent them. I actually used those soft styles. Um, this is for a little dance crew, so I like them. For me, like for me, they're a little thin. I don't, I don't like my preference. I like shirts that are a little bit thicker, but they were actually they feel real good. Like if you're looking for something light to go work out in and stuff like that, yeah. I thought it was. I thought it was a great t-shirt for something like that. I want, and then, see out here, I don't know how they would respond. I think they'll probably respond to the all styles really well. Yeah. Because they haven't experienced those out here. Because you don't get them in Nashville. Oh, really? No, they don't have all styles out here. They don't have huh. all styles. They don't have it. They don't have anything we got back here on the West Coast. Huh, we that's go on the West Coast and you can get it in Nashville. Yeah. And that's the great thing about, uh, if I, you know, finding different connections and get different shirts. Yeah. And trying to buy, I think that that is something that everybody needs to do. You should never just stick to one style without trying the rest. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, and the one thing I would tell people, is, you know, in this business, you got to be versatile. You can't just be if you're doing t-shirts. Uh, 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 Mike T said it earlier in one of his newest videos. He was talking about doing other products. Like I do shot glasses. I Those are the uh, sublimation shot glasses? Yep, these are yeah. sublimation shot glasses. I got these from, uh, where did you get you from? Coastal Business. Oh, yeah, Coastal, yeah, I'm familiar with them. Yeah, I got those from Coastal, and, you know, you got to be able to do everything. Yeah. And, and I'm going to tell you, I learn stuff new now. Like, when you go, you know how you turn out, if you go, like, do you do shot glasses and socks and stuff? Yeah, I'm getting into it. Have you done them before? Yeah, I'm. I've done the socks. Um, I just got some regular shot glasses that I'm about to introduce, but we just been using like glitter and different stuff on those. But I was um. Like when you when you print these out, the template. Uh huh. Like it's better to print it out. Like when they give you, they give you a template when you buy it. Uh huh. So it's better just to print that one sheet out. Like, I used to take the design and put it on an eight and a half by 11 sheet to try to stretch it out. Yeah. But to be totally honest, you'll waste more paper doing that. Just print it out on that one sheet and call it a day. Some good advice right there. I'm sure there's a lot of people who yeah. didn't know that, who didn't even think about that. So what do you use? Print that one sheet out, they want to try to save paper. And I know the paper's not that expensive. <coughs> you got to look at overall cost versus time versus all of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, man, actually, man, I'm, I would like to see a, uh, you do a video on those on your channel sometime when you got some time, and I'd like to see the process of it. What, doing a shot glass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm actually going to shoot several videos tomorrow. I'll just go ahead and throw that one in there, too. Yeah, right on, because, right on. Because I do those actually with the conveyor up. Yeah, man, you know, I actually I have one of them, and... I got one in my garage, man. I had for years that my mother-in-law gave us, and so do you, you I didn't. Don't like I, it. I've never used it. I didn't know what I had. I just, you know, like I just really got turned on the sublimation last year, man. I'm a pup in this, you know. I I started out with like I got doing this three years ago. I bought all my stuff three years ago or so, but I just really got serious with it like in the last year. I started. Um I started back fully doing it full time again. Cause I always periodically did this or did that. Yeah. Uh, I, but full time, just going all the way in about 11 years, 10, 11 years ago. And I, I ended up just going all in. Yeah. So when I started the ideal of sublimation on a small scale mm -hmm. had just really started. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like when I started doing sublimation, to be honest with you, I was one of the only people in Nashville that did sublimation. Uh huh. You know, it wasn't like it is now. Uh, so I've made some mistakes with it. I've done, you know, I've figured out how to get it to tweak. Uh, the seven, I don't, I don't do the Rico system. I just think it's too expensive and unnecessary. Uh-huh. So I prefer the Epson convert system. What the seven seven twenty or something? I have, I've done the seven seven ten, seven seven twenties. I've done. I've had several of them on both sides. I like the 7720s, and I always advise the 7720s because it's less likely to get a permanent clog in. Oh, huh, that's good to know. I that's what I have 7720. Yeah, and you know, as long as you were, and I tell people to always run a uh, run ink through it at least once a day, like print anything out. It don't matter. Heck, you can get regular ink and paper and print something out of it. Yeah. Because you're not going to, you know, regular, now you can't something made with regular ink jet paper. I don't do it, but you can. Yeah. You know, so, you know, I tell people, always make sure you do your maintenance. Like, I set people's webs, uh, uh, set people's shops up. Oh, really? Yeah, I was going as far as to set people's printers up, their whole little system. So, if... You know, so if somebody watching wanted that service that's near you and wanted that service, how would they reach out to have you do that? Uh, if they're local, they just call me. If not, they well, they can just call me. If they call me, hit me up on Instagram. Uh, say how you feel, custom products. And, uh, uh, and I'll just, you know, they DM me. i let them know, you know, I'll talk them through it. Okay. If, if I'm not with them, if I, can, if, not, if I can get to you, i just come to you and do it for you. And show you how to do it, and show you how not to make the same mistakes. My thing is, I, it's enough money for everybody. I don't have no problem teaching and showing nobody nothing. Period. I'll be honest. The only thing I don't really fool with, I fool with a little bit, is that cricket. Uh huh. I, I I know very little about it. I got uh, I have I don't like the software. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that before. Because the software is so generic. It's great for those that I tell people the cricket is for the novice. Uh-huh. If you really about this this craft, I, I think you got to go at least a silhouette at bare minimum, because yeah. you can you know the designs are closer to Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, Corel Draw, things like that. You know. So do you, you know, use somebody, a cameo cutter? Do I use what? Do you use a silhouette cutter? Oh, I have four. Of them. I have all four. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, I went with that one because of the versatile ability of it. You know, like the, you know, the, the cricket, they say you can cut leather with it and all that, but I don't cut fabric. Yeah. I don't, I have no need to cut fabric. I don't see the, I don't. <laughs> right, right, right. So because of that, I don't use it. I think, I, and they, and the silhouette, they say you can cut fabric too, but I've never done it. I think ultimately I might eventually one day go up to a graph tech. Oh yeah, those are nice. Yeah, but I just haven't no need, you know. You need everything you need with a silhouette. Yeah. So the thing about this business is you don't need, you really can't start this business with five hundred to five fifty, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and be able to survive. I'll be honest with you, I have a my heat press it's a 16 by 20 I got off of Amazon. I have two of them. No, I have three total. But the one of my main ones I use is a 16 by 20 I got off of Amazon 10 years ago. Wow. Yeah, you hear so many horror stories about Amazon stuff. And then I've also heard stories like this. That's yeah, true. It, it, I got a 15 by 15 off Amazon that went out six months after I used it. Yeah. So it's just based off of your luck. Yeah. You know, but if you're making money and you're just trying to get into the business, you grab what you can grab and you, you know, when you do your first couple of orders, you put back enough money that if you have to buy another one, you just buy it. Yeah, you yeah. Know, you know. Until you save up enough money to go get the one you really want. Because I've known people who got uh, the Stars, uh, 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 Fusion, 
Which I still want one. But I've heard horror stories about, oh, you know, it went out. You know, the computer, the motherboard went out on it. Yeah. It's a straight computer. What do you think going to happen? Yeah, right, right, right. You know, so it, it, it's, all of this stuff is trouble. Yeah, it's all about just starting your business. So, you know, it, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Now, I was going to ask, so, what would you tell the newbies? Like, what, just get a heat press and a, and a, and a cameo and get going? Or what, what, would, what would you suggest for somebody just starting out today? If somebody's just starting today, I would ask what's their budget. Mm -hmm. So let me say it this way. If they started, say if they came and said, I have $300. Uh-huh. I would tell them to buy at least a 15 by 15 heat press and at bare minimum, a 8.5 by 11 printer, Epson. Mm -hmm. And start advertising. A $50 printer, you can get a 15 by 15 for about $200. You got a printer for 50 and I put $50 in, to, uh, $25 in to get some shirts from, uh, what's that, so a Goodwill uh -huh. to practice on. And yeah. I would, uh, or, or I would take that last 50 get about another 10 and order a, uh, I, I wouldn't get the printer. I would just get the press and take that last money and order a, a, a marketing kit from uh, Transfer Express. So what is the marketing marketing kit from Transfer Express? Marketing kit from Transfer Express is going to give you different types of transfers, the Google transfer, all these different transfers you can play with. Oh, okay. And what that's going to do is allow you to you take the rest of your money and, 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 and print them. You take the rest of your money, get some shirts, make samples, mm -hmm. and then you just take larger orders. You take the orders that are like 25, 50 pieces, or even if you took less orders, because you can go to someone like F and F and M Expression and get cheaper transfers. Yeah, you can do that, but you use it just as a marketing tool. And tell them, hey, you got to at least get 15, 20 shirts. And then when you save up enough money, you get a cutter. You save up a little more money, you get a printer. That's a great idea right there. You know, you just, you know, you get what you can get while you got it with, as you can get it. You do not have to have a, a, a fusion to start off. You ain't got to have the, uh, the heat press nation to start off. You just start. You know, I would tell them, just start and do what you do. Yeah. You know. Hmm. So, um, you're so all over YouTube. You see a lot of people that don't like using like the 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 transfer paper, like the Nina paper and stuff like that. You're a strong advocate for it. Why is that? What for doing inkjet yeah, transfers? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm totally against telling people not to use the inkjet transfers. I think the inkjet transfers has a place. Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing, why am I going to turn down any money? Right. If you want, I got to do it out here, he call it the dead man t-shirt. If you want a t-shirt, right, <coughs> Excuse me. you want it black. Somebody say you want an RIP t-shirt, graduation t-shirt, you want it black. We ain't celebrating on that, really. Unless you go get the, the celebration paper and all that extra stuff you might not want to do. Because mm -hmm. people don't want to pay. You know, you, and all the extra stuff costs, you, you're tacking on to your overall cost of your product. Right. I can take an inkjet transfer, say eight and a half by 11, down to 50 transfer, $2 transfer sheet. Put some ink on it. If you get the ink cheap enough, my ink, it'll probably run me about, if it's eight and a half by 11, about 10, 15 cents to print it. Put it on the shirt. I got a viable shirt that you're gonna wear and you're gonna like. It might be a little thick, but right. it got the job done. Right, 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 right. Why am I gonna tell you, oh, I don't do it, I don't like it? It ain't about me. Right. And the mistake that people make is they mistakenly think that it's about what you like. 
I, I, I tell you a story. I lost a uh, 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 an associate behind not wanting to use inkjet transfers. They wanted a shirt with their logo on it. And instead of just doing it because I was like, oh, I don't want to use the transfers because they, you know, they're a little more sophisticated and they might not like it, yada, yada, yada. Uh-huh. And they only wanted like one or two. So I couldn't figure out a way to do it that it made sense overall. Uh-huh. So the next thing I know, they got their photo shoot, they had their shirts on, and they were upset with me because they felt as though I let them down. And in hindsight, I did. Uh-huh. Like they say, I didn't ask you for anything special. I asked you to put my logo on a shirt. How you did it didn't matter. Right. The, le- the lesson I took out of that is stop overthinking it. Keep right. it simple, simple. Just do it and call it a day. Right, right, right. You know, Super we put more pressure on ourselves as t-shirt makers. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. You ain't wearing it either. Right. Why you get it? Yeah, yeah. All you want to do is give a great looking product. You, and I'll tell you up front, if it's a light color transfer, if it's one on a white shirt, I tell them up front, hey, it's going to bleed once. After that, it's fine. You know, you're good. It's not going to bleed anymore. And it'll get no lighter than what it is after you wash it. If it's a dark transfer, I tell them, I had, I've had transfers for seven years and no problem. You know, if it does bleed, it's gonna, only going to bleed that one time, and that's it. Mm-hmm. So... And I move on. And they, like I did today, I did uh, some Halloween shirts. Somebody's going to, you know, they're going, uh, it's lean or something. I don't know what they're doing. They had a Sprite bottle and a medicine bottle on the shirt. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> I, was yeah. Like, I was like, okay. Yeah. That works for you. You know what I'm saying? I, I just want the check. Give me my money. Yeah. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they, they love the shirt. It, it, it was great. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it's about. Give the customer what they ask for. Right. By you know, if that's the only inkjet transfer, then hey, give me that inkjet, run that inkjet transfer. They brought me the shirt and I still charge them $15. Yeah. You know, I've had people bring me a shirt for inkjet transfer, turn back. They brought me the shirt and I still charge them 30 bucks. Yeah. yeah. You know, so you're going to miss that money over your personal thing. Y'all get good money out that way, man. I was talking to Mike, man. Y'all make good money. T-shirts cost a little more out that way, man. No, because I tell you the truth, it ain't that. Because as a lot of people do them, and the average price is still fifteen, you know, twenty, fifteen, twenty bucks. Yeah. I th- you pay you not pay, I tell people all the time you're not paying me to do a shirt, you're paying me to do a experience. Right. Right. Yeah, you know, you're paying me for what I know. You're not paying me for what I'm doing. Right. If you can do it, go do it. Yeah, you know, and because I don't, my prices are that way. Because I'm not going to deny myself. Yeah, I heard that. Here's the thing: if you come with me with a, 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 your fully fledged design ready to print, okay, cool. We ain't got no problem. I put that. I knock it out. I may even give you a discount. Mm-hmm. If I have to do your design, and then I got to create the design, send it to you for the okay. Say you don't want me to do it. Mm-hmm. You want to do a different one. So I do a different one. Say you don't like that one. You want another one. Say I do this four times. It takes an hour each time. Yeah. So if I charge, say you don't, you, you know, you only want to pay $20 for the shirt. Mm-hmm. So if I charge you 20 bucks for the shirt. And you get, and I and I take me four hours to do the design. I made $5 an hour. Yeah. I can work in McDonald's with more than that. Yeah, right, man. <clears throat> yeah, I don't like so, those customers. I've had a few of those, man. So as a T-shirt designer and a T-shirt maker, you have to decide what your time is worth. And tell people, and that's the problem with the T-shirt business right now. So many people have regular jobs and making T-shirts as a side hustle. Mm-hmm without the dream or aspiration of becoming a full-time business. Right. So they're charging according to the fact, I don't have the overhead that somebody else might have. I only have to charge $10 because it only cost me $2, $3 to make the show. Right. So now what you're doing is you're messing up the market. Versus 
charge it accordingly and making sure you account for your time and your situation as well. Right. See, that's the thing that we have to look at. That's the thing we have to teach the new people coming in. Make sure that you are, you understand every aspect of it. It's not about, oh, I made $15. No, you really didn't make anything. Right. Because you didn't pay yourself. Your right. business still has to grow, and you ain't paid yourself yet. Right. You know, you are an overhead. You are an expense. And when you start looking at it that way, then the prices will go up. The prices will go where they need to go. Because okay, right on, man. I appreciate you. We might have to... Thank we got to talking, so we I might have to hit you back up to finish off this interview, but because <laughs> all a lot oh, yeah. of this stuff, I ain't about to give them. I ain't about to give them the free game. We were just talking about. Nah, don't give them everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, I appreciate so you, man. For sure, man. I'm glad we got to talk, man. Appreciate you. Uh, I hit For you sure, up. man. I appreciate the opportunity. Give right me a holler. I will. Right on. Later. All right, brother. We say you too. Twelve going apparel, the dream in my eye. I be an example to myself in the tears that I cry.